In a recent tutorial on this channel about how to make a MIDI controlled synth, we needed to convert MIDI numbers into frequencies. Uh, I kind of skipped the part where I was supposed to give an explanation because, truth be told, I had no idea what I was doing. And it has been bugging me ever since, so I decided to make a separate video on how this equation actually works. In the video, I asked people to leave a comment with an explanation if they had any, and Mr. Axel Chiller actually posted an explanation, and here's what he wrote. A over 32 means we go down 6 octaves to the lowest A in MIDI. It's the same as 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 up to 6 times, or A times 2 to the power of minus 6. And then note minus 9 means we go down from A to C because the 0th note is a C in MIDI. And then 2 to the power of X means that we want to double the frequency again. Um, and then we get a result. Um, but let's break that down even more. If we take a look at a MIDI number slash octave slash frequency chart, where we have all the MIDI numbers and corresponding frequencies divided into octaves, we can see that the first octave is octave minus 1, and the last octave is octave 9. We can also see that MIDI number 0 is a C at 8.175 Hz in octave minus 1, and we can see that the last MIDI number is 127, it's a G, and it's 12,543 Hz. So we have 128 MIDI numbers in total. Now, most instruments don't go all the way from octave minus 1 to 9. In fact, the human ear can't even pick up the notes at each end of the spectrum. But this is how MIDI numbers and the corresponding frequencies are divided into octaves. So A is our reference note, which is 440 Hz also known as the pitch standard, and it's equivalent to the MIDI number 69. So this equation I used in the video, let's briefly go through that. A over 32, A divided by 32, times 2 to the power of MIDI number minus 9 divided by 12. So A is 440, which is our reference note, A 440 hertz. Let's focus on the first part, 440 divided by 32. It equals 13.75. So that will be the same as 440 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2. So divided by 2 five times, that also equals 13.75. Or it could also be 2 to the power of minus 5. So why this number 13.75? Well. We know that our reference note A at 440 Hz is an octave number 4. So in order to get all the way to the first octave, minus 1, we have to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 octaves. And if we take a look at the A note in octave minus 1, we can see that the frequency is 13.75 Hz and has the MIDI number 9. Let's focus on another part of the equation. MIDI number minus 9. Here we subtract the number 9 from the MIDI number, which brings us all the way down to MIDI number 0, the note C at 8.175 Hz. This is our new reference point, the very first MIDI number in the very first octave, octave minus 1. From here, we raise 2 to the power of that number to double the frequency. And because there are 12 notes within an octave, we divide by 12. This is the part that is hardest for me to understand, the 2 to the power of divided by 12 part. And I'm not quite sure I actually get it still, but I'll get back to that in a minute. It turns out that if you sit down and do some thinking, or rather if you keep googling, sometimes you'll actually stumble upon a simpler solution. Actually, we don't need this 440 divided by 32 part. We know that our reference note A at 440 hertz has MIDI number 69, so we might as well just subtract 69 from the MIDI number and get all the way down to MIDI number 0, a C in the octave minus 1. Then we simply multiply 440 with 2 to the power of the MIDI number minus 69 and divide it by 12. That will give us the same result, but it looks and feels a bit simpler. Let's take a look at this 2 to the power of MIDI number minus 69 divided by 12 and break it down. If we want to get the frequency of the MIDI number 69, which we know is our reference note A at 440 Hz, we'll get these numbers. So 69 minus 69, that is 0. 
zero divided by 12, that's also zero. So two to the power of zero, that is one. And if you multiply 440 with one, we get 440, and which we know is, is true. Similarly, if we try to get the frequency for the median number 57, which we know is the A in the octave below, we'll get this result. 57 minus 69 is minus 12. Minus 12 divided by 12 is minus 1. 2 to the power of minus 1 is 0 0.5. 440 times 0 0.5, or divided by 2, is 220, which is half of 440 and also correct. We can try with the octave above the 440 hertz A as well, which has median number 81. So 81 minus 69 equals 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And 440 times 2 is 880. And that also makes sense. So there you have it. This is how you convert median numbers to frequencies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you would like to see more of this kind, then like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now go calculate some MIDI numbers.